All right, let's go inside the numbers. Bring you the news of the day. Do you know Bob Menendez, who is getting no attention? He is the Democratic senator from New Jersey who was, while up on federal corruption charges, his jury ended in a deadlock. He is, however, still a favorite to win re-election in New Jersey, believe it or not. Uh, Due to a lack of a good Republican uh, candidate, and uh, no real major challenger in the Democratic primaries. Bob Menendez is now sits at 29% approval rating. Um, interesting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, $275 million is the reported bid for the Weinstein Company. A producer and a distributor previously at the Harvey Weinstein Company is interested in buying it. The bid comes from Maria Contreras Sweet, who led the Small Business Administration during the Obama administration. It includes a majority female board and a fund for Weinstein's victims. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, The Justice Department sued yesterday to block AT&T's bid to buy Time Warner, saying the deal would stifle innovation and increase TV bills. AT&T defended the $85 billion merger. Uh, We'll wait and see what happens there. Donald Trump said during his campaign that the deal should be blocked. The Pentagon's next generation bomber project, according to the Congressional Budget Office, $97 billion, the B-21 program. And finally, a new White House estimate puts the true cost of the opioid epidemic in the country at $504 billion. The recent study factored in the health care and the economic costs of prescription drugs and illicit drugs like heroin. So our opioid epidemic in this country is costing us $504 billion in 2015. Those are the numbers inside the news. Big 550, KTRS.